Okay. Hello, my finest friends, and welcome to uh, episode 61 of Richard Herring's Twitch of Fun. Here it is, Ali and Herring's Twitch of Fun. It's Richard Herring's Twitch of Fun. Uh, just me attempting to get back on the old TV box by coming up with a topical news show that I don't think the uh, the TV people will be able to resist when they, you know, when they get what it's all about. Um, it's uh, only been a couple of years since we started this. Not even a couple of years yet, is it? Or is it? No, it's not. And Or is it? No, it's not quite. And, uh, you know, you can't... Rome wasn't built in a day. So we just got to keep on churning out the eps and uh, see how that goes and everything will be all right. The big news, slightly preempted, is uh, the big news of the day. That I'm taking a sideways look at is uh, we were looking at the BFG book uh, today. My, my, my daughter and I and my wife was there as well. And my daughter said, you can see the giant's winky. And I said, don't be silly. It's a children's book. She said, you can see his winky. I said, and she said, look, just there. And I said, it'll just be his shorts or something. And she said, no, look. And uh, she was right. Uh, here it is. You can see the giant's winky there. Then you spot it. Right there where I'm pointing. Complete is it's Winky hanging out of his little loincloth. He's not the BFG. He's a big. I don't know what character that is. I haven't read the book yet. He's an even bigger BFG. I mean, how's that got away with that in a kid's book? You can literally see his cock. You may say, "Oh, come on, Richard. That's just a, a part of an illustration that comes later, and that's clearly the giant's finger." Well, why have they cut it like that to make it look like his giant fucking cock coming out of his loincloth? Right on page one. Fucking hell. I will be writing to the publishers. I do not expect to see that. My daughter spotted it. She knew what it was. I don't know how she knew that. <laughs> and uh, she was uh, very, up, very mentally scarred by it. I mean, it's also mentally scarring to have like a giant that's smaller than an even bigger giant, I guess. Quentin Blake must go to prison for what he has done. And also Roald Dahl, and also David Williams. I mean, that'll happen. That'll happen eventually, anyway. But uh, yeah, yeah, Terriano. Yeah, we can all hear. You. I think you've got. You can, everyone can hear what you're saying, Terry. I think you've put your you've put your mic on public. Yeah, well, ten, people aren't even meant to know you're there, Terry. Okay, stop talking. You're on the show. You reckon the, the fucking show. I didn't say anything about David Williams. <sighs> okay, uh, so it's going pretty well, the show. It's, you know, 61 episodes young, I like to say. That's what I that's what I enjoy. And, um, you know, just looking at the old news, different news going on. And, and I'll be sideways looking at it and deciding what to do. Um, BFG's cock out there. That's what I'm talking about. It's pretty much all I've got for you this week. It's been, uh, you know, I've been relaxing, chillaxing, all cool, playing some b-ball outside of the school. <laughs> yeah. Um, talking of which, uh, David Chappell, the uh, the uh, American comedian, has been attacked on stage. When, when will the comedians be left alone? He's been attacked on stage by an aggrieved rapper who's come and got him and uh, tuck, rugby tackled him. And um, he uh, and had a fake gun with a knife in it. And, uh, that's the detail I didn't really understand. That's the, no one's really talked about the fake gun with a knife. And he came with a fake gun, <laughs> which, like, if you start brandishing a fake gun, you're probably going to get a shot. And what? Then, then you go, ah, don't worry, it's a fake gun. It's not a real gun. Ah, I stabbed you. I don't. I don't understand why it's a multi-purpose fake gun and real knife. <laughs> Is the the gun isn't a distract? The gun will make you skip more scared than the knife. And um, you're more likely to be shot. So I d that's the detail they haven't really gone into. But it's another comedian being attacked, possibly for the things he said in the past. I don't agree with a lot of the stuff Dave Chappelle's been saying recently. A lot of these multi-millionaire uh, comedians think they're being persecuted. But neither do I think him saying uh, that his attacker was a trans man was a was anything other than obviously a joke. So the world's gone crazy. 
Um, and I don't think anyone took it as anything else. That this is a joke. It would be because they are so angry with him. Correctly. But uh, it's possible to, just <laughs> to have some nuance in these things, I guess. Um, but uh, poor old Dave Chappelle. Could, that could have been the end of Dave Chappelle. And, you know, you can't just run on and... Oh! Ah! What? Ah, ah, just, I got a knife that's a gun. What? I got a gun that's also a knife. Well, what, which is it? It's a knife gun. It's a nice gun. It's a knife gun. You're on the wrong side. Oh, yeah, sorry. Hello. I attacked from the wrong... I was doing this clever parody. That was good. That was better than the Will Smith one you did because it came... It's topical enough that just you copying the thing is... Uh, is is enough. We don't need to write anything more than that. Hello everyone, it's me Ali. I'm cheeky, me. I'm cheeky. Woohoo! Hello, how's it doing? I'm clear dagging. I'm winking at it. I'm winking at it, Dave Chatel. You should wink at it. If you wink at it, Dave Chatel, people don't get so upset about what you're saying. You've got to wink at it. You can say awful things and then you wink at it. I'm winking at it. I like seeing that giant's cock. That was fun in a kid's look. I'm winking at it. That's how it works. So what, you can say something awful. Yeah, you say something awful. I hate all homosexuals. I'm linking at it. I'm linking at it. I do hate homosexuals. Well, you're from a different era, uh, Ali. I can't agree with you. That it's a, it's a terrible prejudice. I can't change it. That's the thing about me. I can't change. I'm stuck in my ways. I said those I'm 130 years old. I only hate homosexuals because they don't have sex with me. That's it. I, you know, I don't know. I have nothing against nan on nan or one on one action. It's just I get left out. I'd love to join you guys, just to get in touch, and uh, that's why I hate you because you're you're mean and you won't let me join in. Oh, so it wasn't homophobia. It was actually what Ali was. Do wow, that's blowing my mind. I thought he was a homophobic, and then actually it turns out he's gay himself. Well, you know, I wouldn't say gay, but I'm you know, and and now so now, yeah. <laughs> And a cock's a cock, yeah. And I would like to have either, really. I just got this gaping hole in my face. And it's a little tatty and mache penis. It's a bit disgusting. I think it shoots out tatty and mache. Is that what it does? I can't remember what I said. You know, I can't expect it to remember all the shit that flows out of my mouth, Richard. Because, so, you know, if I could remember that, then, uh, you know, well, there'd be some kind of consistency to these programs, whereas just different things happen every week. Do you think it's gone too far? Do you think com uh, comedy's safe anymore? You're, you're safe out here, aren't they? No one's going to come and attack you out here. Well, I don't think so. So, you know, that's the future of comedy. Everyone just getting their own attic, you know. And then how, how people are going to come and attack you, even if they wanted to. Well, I've offended a lot of people in my time. You know, a lot of people find me uh, offensive. I've said some things I regret. Um, and, um, you know, but it's, they've only been jo I've only been joking. It was just a joke. Yeah, and yeah, no, sometimes that works, doesn't it? But sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes the joke isn't very good. And that's often the case for you. Richard, yeah, I just wanted to ask you, just man to man, yeah, this isn't about the news. This is just me as your friend. Are you my friend? I, you know, I think we've become friends, haven't we, over the, the last few months? I don't know if we're friends exactly. You keep on threatening to kill my family. Oh, I'll do that. I am thinking at it and flea dagging that when his family are all slaughtered by him. You will play this bit back and say, why didn't we see the signs that it was coming? I'm not going to... I love my family. That's what all people do. I love my kids more than anything in the world. That's what they all say, Richard. They thought they killed them. I don't think it is. I'm not going to... I'm not going to kill them. You're not going to kill them, Richard. I ain't going to kill them. I'm playing it on you. And then they'll play this bit back on the news. And it'll take on a very sinister edge, I have to say. <laughs> they say, yeah, once your family are all slaughtered, Richard, they'll play this bit. And people will go, oh, God. We should, have, we should have seen the signs. We should have seen the signs when the Tuffet said we should have seen the signs. But we didn't see the signs, even though he told us to look. He said, look, look at the signs. They're over there. Look at the, there they are. There's the signs. He's crazy. He's gone. He's clearly gone fucking mad. Look at him. He's talking to himself. He talked to a carrot last week. I do that every week. Yeah, exactly. But nobody said a thing. He just joked that he was going to do it. And then no one believed him. And he said he was definitely going to do it, and still no one stepped in. And it's only now we watch this in hindsight. We see how terrifying this guy is. He was known to liberty at the time, and now it's taken on a very dark tone. 
I think some people will, will, would enjoy watching that with the benefit of hindsight if that would happen, which is not going to happen, Ali, because um, I, you know I love my family more than anything. If I if there was a fire in this house, I would get you and Sally first because you know you mean a lot to me, you guys. Oh, really? That's so nice. Yeah. Well, you know, it would be awful if you guys got burnt up. Then I'd go down, probably get my son. He's the lightest to carry, and I reckon I'd get my daughter. She's pretty heavy now, but she's big, you know. Um, and I get her, and hopefully my wife could look after herself. But if if not, I'd get you guys, you puppets outside. Then I'd go back in for my wife. But that's very nice of you, Richard. That's good of you. Look, we're all in a little bit. These are a bit worried about what about you sitting up here in your attic talking to yourself? Well, I'm not talking to myself. I'm I'm talking to you. Well, I know that, Richard. I know who you're talking to very well. That a lot of people at home. Think that I'm not a magical little man who can speak on his own. Well, how are you speaking? If I'm got my mouth closed, is it? Have you got your mouth very much closed when I'm speaking? How can you say the letter B? Brian Blessed is my greatest hero. Uh, dadushka, dadushka, dadushka. Ay, 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 it's true. How can I say that a D? The letter D? The letter D? The letter what? The letter B? Oh, the letter B. How could I say it so successfully if I wasn't a tiny man who animated on his own? I had, had consciousness, had come to life, if you will. Yeah, well, you have come to life. But a lot of people, your, your friends, are worried that, that I'm not a real magical man. That it's just you with your finger down the back of my head. Some people say they can see your hands. I've just got, I'm just hoping this is how, you know, I'm just helping you. You're an old man, I'm just helping you. Oh, that's very nice of you, Richard. I think you get it. And the little drunk. Sit on it, Father. Sit on it, sit on it, dick, fair cock. To say that that's too the too is good when you say, say sit on it. That's 130 people watching this. Have they alerted the authorities, Richard? I don't know if they have. Alert the authorities, alert them. How did he speak when I was drinking? If he's not a real man, answer me that. He's a real man and he's my fr best friend. And yes, I would rescue him before I rescue my kids from the house because he's. Old and my great granddad made him. That's not that doesn't make me a bad dad. Anyway, you're just got you just have to think. Are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm feeling fine. You don't you don't think you talking to a carrot and your own? You know that bit where you talk to your own testicle? I do know that. Yeah, yeah. Just some people worried maybe the strain's got to you. You know, you were once on the truck the telly. I, I was. Yeah, and, and now I've got this. Yes, and now you've got this. Why are you saying that with a different intonation? Now I've got my own TV station, so is that does not I mean that's better than what I had before because I was just on someone else's Ian BBC's uh, station before, and now I've got my own station, and uh, I can do anything I, anything I want on here. Yes, and you, you choose to do this. What well, is good? People, you know, the hundred and nine. It was one hundred and thirty, and now it's one hundred and nineteen. But 119 people can't lie, can they? Yes, yes, they can. If 119 people say it's good, then it must be all right, mustn't it? It must be all right. Yes, I'm glad you're okay, Richard. I was just a little drunk and a little worried that you were uh, that things weren't going so well for you. So no, I'm fine. I'm you know I'm mentally, uh, I've got mental acuity. I'm, I'm sharp. I'm feeling better than I've ever felt. I feel like I could do anything. Yeah, you know, you're not going to do it, are you, Richard? What do you mean? You're not going to kill your family. I'm not going to kill my family. Okay, don't kill my family because it'll make me look very bad. When they'll put that clip on the news, there'll be a documentary, all like all scary, and then go, "We should have seen it. He was hiding in plain sight. He said everything he was going to do, and then he did it, and he didn't know just because he came to the little puppet man. No one realised it was Richard in the voice." That's the thing. It's not my. We got different voices. We got very different voices, haven't we, Richard? I got the voice of the old drunk man, and you got another voice of the middle-aged drunk man. No, I don't, well, I haven't had a drink of um, alcohol for uh, I don't know what is it, sixteen months, something like that. Yeah, over sixteen months. What are you drinking there? That is uh, Erdinger alcoholfrei beer. <sighs> 119 people. Yeah. Stuart Lee's got his specials on the DZC. Yeah, he, but you know, he's upset that he can't get them on Netflix and he's poor old Stuart Lee. He, he must can't have that much money, can he? Because they don't pay him as much on the BBC. Yeah, he's very poor. All right, don't, don't go into that. All right, I won't go into that. 
has, has Stuart Lee got his own puppet show that goes out on Twitch to 119 people? What? No, no, he hasn't. There's some uh, there's an insect in here. Yeah, there's lots of insects, Richard. There's lots of insects. Um, I might have taken that off. There's uh, the worried that there aren't enough insects. Yeah, I had too much stuff to put in. I'm worried there aren't enough insects in the world. Should we just do it? You and me talking to none of the other idiots. You don't need the other idiots, do you, Richard? Uh, what do you think? Of that? This is pathetic. Now, this is a this is a show in trouble. Uh, the Britain's Got Talent. No one's watching it anymore. No one's interested anymore. They, they've got in a horrible witch came in and uh, cracked open an egg, and insects came out and scared Amanda Holden. And uh, you know, obviously, no one had pre-planned that. I mean, that just happened, and Amanda Holden. They must have the producers must have flown into flown into a terrified rage when they saw this witch uh, smash open an egg unexpectedly and insects flew everywhere. I've got insects just flying around here anyway. Um, but people think they know who it is. Is it Ant or is it, it looks a bit like Ant and Deck doing their special thing, doesn't it? Is it uh, that annoying bloke who does catchphrase, Stephen Mulhern? Stephen Mulhern, that's his name, Richard. Yeah, it would have been better if you told me that rather than me working out myself. Yeah, you should work on that. Well, I was a little bit asleep, sorry. If I'd said Stephen Littlehorn, it would have looked good, wouldn't it? Yeah, if I hadn't remembered and you had remembered. You... We'll edit it in the final version to see to see how it goes. Um, and it just seems a little bit pathetic to me when, just to try and get viewing figures and get people asking questions, they go, I wonder who that was who came in dressed as a, a witch. Right, that's the queue. That's the queue. Hold on. Shall I sit down? You get down there because it's difficult to... That's the queue. Oh, on my hand, my other real hand. Oh, uh, uh, I am the king of the world. No, you're a scary witch. I am the scary witch who is the king of the world. And nobody knows who I am. I'm the king of the world, by the way. And I come to tell you, my friends, that Richard Harry and I'm putting a scary hex on you. Because uh, I am the king of the world. No, you're a witch. I'm a witch and nobody knows who I am. No one knows who's under this mask. It isn't, it's me, the king of the world. But nobody knows that, because it's a secret. And, uh, you know, why don't you all start asking questions? Who could it be? It looks a bit like the king of the world. When his mask came out, I thought, oh, is that the king of the world's face? Uh, and then I thought, no, it's not. Because the king of the world has a crown, not a hair like this hair I've got on my head, the king of the world. And... Ooh, I'm the terror of the witch, and you could add the, I'm the king of the world. I am the king of the world, I'm the king of the world. Oh, wow, wow, we got our own terrifying witch there. Ah, hopefully that will spark up a little bit of interest. I see the viewing figures has gone up six. Six people since that scary witch. People already asking who was that mysterious witch that came in and was rude to, to Richard Herring there. <sighs> Pretty good. It was a good show, Richard. It's going very well. You know, considering how much preparation we've done, it's, you know, you had to get a wig, didn't you? You had to get, I had to look around for, like, a disguise. I found that in the Halloween box. I found this mask that no one's ever worn before. Glowing mask. It glows, apparently, but I think you've got to put something else on it. Oh, I don't know what that does. That, that was in there as well. What's that about? Keep the product in the original foil until ready to use. Do not puncture or cut. Going pretty well, isn't it? We did a parody of the old British Scott Talent. Look how scared Simon Cowley. He doesn't know what's coming, Richard. That's he never knows. He knows his own program, and he, you know, they look all the guests in advance. He doesn't know what's going to happen. He should take back control, shouldn't he, of his uh, of his show? Uh, what else have we got for you? Uh, I quite like this new story today. Ukraine morning briefing. Uh, the five developments as Russia practices nuclear mass missile launches, and you know. I'm not really worried about Russia practicing nuclear missile launches because, you know, do you know how you practice a nuclear missile launch? Not really, Richard. I've never seen a nuclear missile. This is how you practice it. You know, it's not something you really need to practice. You just press a button. Maybe, like, you get a guy and you crack an egg open and then you get two keys and turn them. But basically, that's how you test a nuclear so if they're practicing in Russia how to do, and then I'm not too, but if they're kind of like, oh, we've we we well, we've got all these nuclear weapons, we never worked out how to use them. That's how you do. So I think it's a bit of bravado there from Vladimir Putin. And if not, if it's not bravado, why not send a little nuclear bomb to Hertfordshire? 
Oh! Too scared, are we? Are you too scared of me and my puppet, Vladimir Putin? Why don't you blow us all to kingdom come? That'll teach you. We'll see if that happens. Richard, you're really... Uh, you know, this is worse than killing your family. Well, my family would die if that happened. They would. And this is not to watch Theodore or watch this. That can go to see the bit where Richard Herring taunted Vladimir Putin. You can't blame Vladimir Putin. They're acting on it. You can't blame him. I've, I've goaded him. I've called him a weak pussy. You didn't. Well, I have now. And I've goaded him. And if he if he blows up the world, it's my fault. Um, just like Ukraine goaded him, didn't they? They goaded him to, into attacking them. And, uh, you know, poor old Vladimir Putin. Everyone's goading me. Leave me alone. I'm just Vladimir Putin. I don't even know how to use my own nuclear weapons. I'm so stupid. I can't even effectively poison people. I always survive. And then I accidentally killed some normal people that I weren't the targets of it. Because I'm Vladimir Putin. <laughs> I don't think you should be knocking Vladimir Putin. I'm, you know, this is for the people in Ukraine. I know there's a lot of the 125 viewers watching this are in Ukraine right now. And I uh, hope that that helped. Also, if, if he does attack Hertfordshire, it will distract, distract when it, if he uses up one of his bombs on me, then that has actually saved some people somewhere else in the world. Admittedly killed a lot of people in Hertfordshire, but to be honest, it's not a great loss. If we lost everyone in Hertfordshire, what well, about me? Well, you'd be lost, and my family would be lost. Yeah. Um, but, you know, apart from that, wouldn't be wouldn't be a great loss. What else you got, Richard? Oh, Chris Evans, not that one. Twex texted me. What's he got to say? Oh, we seem to have lost you. What's happened? Can you hear me? Nuclear, there was a small nuclear explosion. All right, I'm sorry, and I've been told to say it took out the pub in our village uh, and there's some residual radioactivity. I've been told to say, sorry, Vladimir Putin. I don't know what point we went off air, uh, but um, uh, you're a good guy. Uh, and I would say to my Ukrainian viewers, I'm sorry, I'm on Russia's side. I think they're good. I once did a pilot episode of uh, Russia Today before I realised what it was. And then didn't take part in the series. But I should have stayed and done the series. Uh, Friazel Gunnell says, Bro, what's the deal with the creepy doll? I'm not that creepy. You know, thanks for thinking I'm a doll. Yeah, you're a nice looking guy, Richard, to your age. Do you think so? Yeah, you're doing all right. Well, I'm trying to get back fit again. I've put on a little bit of weight, but uh, a little bit, you know, I'm trying to pull back. Anyway... Vladimir Putin, very misunderstood guy. Don't don't piss him off, is what I would say. Do not piss that guy off or it'll be terrible. Uh, there's a bloody... He sent one of his nanobot flies to get me as well. What else have we got for you? Um, uh, this is a big story. Uh, COVID, world's true pandemic death toll nearly 15 million, says who? Who says it, Richard? I mean, this is a very serious story. Who says it, though? Who says it? That's what I'm asking you. Let's not do that, because this is... The death of 15 million people is not something we want to, you know, even be seen to be taken lightly. I'm not taking it lightly. I'm just asking who says it. Who says it? Who says it? 
That's all I'm asking you. Who says that the, the world's true pandemic death toll is nearly 15 million? Who says it? Who says it? Why do you just keep repeating me? I'm not repeating you. Who says it? I'm asking you who says it. We can't do this every week. It's too much. What do you mean? Do, 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 this is the first time we've seen this story. I just want to know who says it. Says who? Even the person writing the newspaper article doesn't know. It's who that says it. Who says it? Who? Who? That's what I want to know. Who? Who says it? I mean, you know, I wanted to just... We do a lot of comedy on this show, do we? Yeah, I didn't notice any comedy. There's loads of comedy on this show. We do loads of it. And, um, you know, I just wanted to do it. You know, it's time to sit back, go, look what happened with the COVID deaths. You know, 15, nearly 15 million, says who? Says who? 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 That's right, who? No, who says it? 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 Who says it, Richard? Just tell me who says it. Who? 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 Who says it? It's ru You've ruined the story because it now looks... It just looks silly. Let's move on to the next story, whatever that will be. I don't know what the story's coming up. Uh, who issues rapid communications on updated guidance for the treatment of drug-resistant tuberculosis? Tuberculosis. I don't know, Richard. Who does that? Who does it? Who's... If this isn't... Again, this is not... This is a, a, a terrible story about... Uh, the treatment of drug-resistant tuberculosis. Um, who says it? Well, it? It says who says it. If you look at the actual piece of news, it says who says it. It doesn't. It asks who says it. And who has issued the rapid communication? And why, and why did they do it so quickly? That's not... We don't go into that. They, they've issued... Who has? Who has issued a, a, a rapid communication updated guidance for the treatment of drug-resistant tuberculosis? It's very... I'm just trying to look at some of the... We can't just all have laughs. Where are the fucking laughs? I no one's been laughing. At, no one here's been laughing, have they? No one's been, no one's been laughing at this bit because it's serious. Or only that, Richard. I didn't even realize this was meant to be comedy. I thought this was a serious show. <laughs> Look, let's just let's move on to. There must be another story here. Uh, who reveals shocking extent of exploitative formula formula milk marketing? I don't know who. Who does it? who reveals the who reveals it? Who reveals it? Who? Again, just if you read the thing, you can see who does it. It's who? Who? Look, look, look at the picture and read the whole thing. Who reveals shocking extent of the exploited thorn? I'd like to know who did that. Who? Yeah, we'd all like to know that, Richard. All right, look. Let's. I'm just. Let's move on. They can't all be. Oh, for God's UNICEF and who? Warn of Perfect Storm. No, at least we know that the UNICEF is the warn of it. But who else? The Perfect Storm of Conditions for Measles Outbreaks Affecting Children. And this is, a, you know, these are not terrible stories. We shouldn't... UNICEF and who? Yeah, UNICEF and who? That's all I want to know. You know, I know it's UNICEF. But who else is it? UNICEF and who have warned of the Perfect Storm. Why? Who keeps on putting these stories up here? What, the World Health Organization keeps putting up these stories? What? That was like a dit. I didn't just see. I turned it because then I said who, and then you knew it was the World Health Organization. It was quite funny, wasn't it? It was quite funny, Richard. Well, um, you should be very pleased with yourself. Oh, should we do a birthday just to get something different? Hey. You've lived another year and you haven't even died. So cancer may be secretly creeping deep inside. If you think that's worth a part. Your brain's also going wonky Let's get an E or or a kick from the reluctant birthday donkey Hee-haw, hee-haw, why can't I die? Oh, we're back. Hello, it's me, Richard Herring. There's a fly in here. Oh, they say that there's not many insects in the world. They're all up in my bloody attic if you want them. There's wasps and everything. Yeah, why can't I die? Hello, birthday donkey. We've got one birthday for you this week. And look, I don't know if people understand how the birthday things work, okay? Dylan from South Carolina has got in touch. Uh, hello again. He says he's been on before. After that terrible ordeal you put do donkey through in episode 59, I thought I'd give him a break. My daughter Nora is turning two next week. I've had another daughter, Charlotte, since the last time I helped donkey out. I thought, we don't know one remembers you, Dylan. Don't think you're a memorable character. 
Um, I thought about requesting zero jumps for her birth, but I didn't get round to it, and then the show went on hiatus. I always look forward to the show, and I'm really glad it's back. Well, fuck you. It's been a, sorry, no, that's that. Thank you. It's, sorry, thank you. That's what I was looking for. It's been a staple of my fatherhood years thus far. I mean, I went a bit mad when I had young kids and watched kind of crazy shit on telly and got too involved in it. So I understand it. With two kids and a full-time job. I don't have the time I once did to listen to podcasts and have developed quite a backlog. We don't want to know about your problems with going to the toilet, Dylan. I wish, I wish uh, Ali was here. That's the second joke of the show. Two jokes in one show. The backlog. Hold on. Did somebody say backlog? Woohoo! Yeah, I think it was said. Like a true. Yeah, but I just did the You can't come in and do the. It's like a backlog of shit at this asshole. Woohoo! Who said it? You joining? Who? You know all that stuff. Who was it? Shut up. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, However, a new episode of Twitch Fun is always a priority. Call it madness. Call it just a bad habit. I made a collage this time. Uh, I'm hope you're happy. It's really crap. Yes, I am sitting on the toilet in the pitch to the left. Let's have a look at the pictures. There it is. The pitch to the left. Okay, I can see that is taken in the toilet. He's sitting on the toilet. I was going for an Adam Curtis vibe on the text. I don't know what that means. Happy birthday, Nora. Welcome to the world, Charlotte. Love, Dad. Keep on keeping on, you strange man. Best of luck on Champion of Champions. Dylan's still in South Carolina. No one remembers you, Dylan. You aren't a memorable viewer. Thank you for this. But this is not for children. This is for only for adults. Not only two years old. <laughs> Woohoo, yes, two. Yeah, yeah, you need to turn to cocky cat. Yeah, two. I'll do two. Eeyores. Eeyore, eeyore. I'll do two donkey jumps. Uh, uh, it's easy. Uh, in your face. No children. This isn't for children. This is an adult show. Children shouldn't be watching anyway. But the whole point of this is it's only for grown ups. And it, it, it's, it, it's, you're a terrible father for even bringing your children into this. I don't know if we're even allowed to show their, their pictures. He and Twitch will be furious. Anyway, they look very nice. But f- fuck you, Nora. That's what I can say. And Charlotte, fuck the both of you for ruining my show. If that's if that makes me bad, yeah. There's Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew's muscled his way in. You're right. Beats International. He's he's heard. Oh, there's some young girls around. Now that he's just turned up, and he can't keep him away. Uh, anyway, let's. I don't know if there is a magic button this week or if that, I need to put my headphones on. Let's have a look and see. I don't think there is because I think I saw the same one come up a minute ago. Let's have a look. Oh no, it is new. Oh, it's a. Uh, I can interact. Can I do a? Can I do a word or? Right, I'm going to start. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does. Let's see if I can solve this word. Or like this is this is very good. I've been starting with chalk. Sometimes I try to change my. Oh no, it's eight six letters. Oh, I'd make it chalky. It won't be chalky. Whoa! That's quite exciting. So the H is in the right six letters. I've never known such a thing. Um, you know, you got to think about these things. So the L can't go there. The L must go right at the end. Uh, let's try... I'm not so good with six letters. Will this work? Yes, this would... This I play by hard rules, kids. You have to work out what you learnt. The Elbus go at the end, and there's an S now. Chisel? No, it's got, there's no. What vowels are in this? <sighs> Not getting. Uh... So the S must go there. <sighs> Quite hard with six letters. I don't think it's Sybil. This is going to take ages to work this out live on live on air. T H U Thrush. No, that hasn't got an L in it. Oh, of course it is. I, I was thinking, I was trying to be, I got this off the chat room. I was thinking it would be a real word. Of course I was. Yeah, you cheeky monkey, Chris Evans. Not that one. That's why there was no vowels in it. Um, thank you very much, Chris. That was I enjoyed it. I enjoyed <laughs> the game. Um, thank you to uh, I believe uh, Favus got it the first. Uh, yes, well done. 
Well, that's all in honour of those two young women who I hope will uh, grow up in a world where we have um, solved many of the problems that have been created by my generation, the generations before. I apologise uh, to the future who I know will be watching this. I was going to mention this last week. Uh, Prince Charles backs face masks for cows to help save the planet one burp at a time. So they've decided to give cows face masks to catch um, the methane. That and this is the, the answer is stop eating beef. That's the that's the answer there, kids. I'm going to tell you it straight. Stop eating beef. I think I'm going to stop eating beef. But then there's all the milk and all that stuff. And then I said it to my wife, and they said, "What about milk? You're going to drink milk?" So I'll probably drink less milk. What about cheese? What about butter? Bloody cows! You're so useful. Um, you know, I can just see a lot of anti-masker cows getting into this, uh, and it will be a problem. Doesn't the methane come out the other end? Says Falafel Fox. I think that's true. The burps are a part of the problem, but I think the farts are a big part of the problem. And uh, you know, and I'm not helping with that either. I have to say, um, I've been eating a lot of uh, sugar-free gum. That really creates some problems with the ozone layer. Probably we should we should cut out uh, extra before we cut out cows but let's stop eating let's all stop eating beef let's all 140 of us stop eating beef some of us may not eat it already there'll always be milk five us you're right then what about milk rich there'll always be milk um cheese is the hardest part i don't know if that's a joke adam langhans but i like it um it would be ironic if they're anti-vaccine don't get it be ironic if they were anti if what uh won't they get herd immunity three jokes three jokes in three jokes in one show and you know some people say spread out the jokes rich don't put them all in one show um put you know put one every three shows and then you know they won't look so bad because you won't have like ten shows with no jokes in, but three actual jokes, like and we're not even finished at this. You know, haven't even finished the show yet. It's all very good, Richard. Oh, that witch was scary, wasn't it? The witch was scary. Oh, we should. Uh, we haven't got a, a theme tune for Sybil yet. Um, uh, but so let's bring in Sybil to answer her last week's uh, predictions. Here she's going. Ooh, I you shouldn't have a witch on the show, Richard. I am the witch on the show. I am Siddle. If the guy thought that Ali was weird looking, wait till he sees me. So let's take a look at your predictions from last week. Some chillingly scary. Others uh, have not proven, as far as I can see, to come true. But luckily I wrote them down last week. Boris Johnson will tell a new lie. That was your first prediction. Yes, that totally happened. That definitely happened. Um... Is Paddy McGuinness still around Ian Amazon asked? That was actually in the snooker, I think, wasn't it? And uh, he did, that was proven incorrect. Uh, Sierra, Leone, Sierra Leone sank, sinks into the sea. I haven't checked the news. Is that, that happened? Yes, that happened, Richard. It sank right into the sea. Ooh, or I see everything. I see Doris Johnson lying. I see Sierra Leone lying at the bottom of the sea. Ooh. Um, are you st uh, Stephen Mulhern dressed up? No, Lady I am Richard. Lady Britain's got talent, got the idea from this. Yeah, actually, why do we have that that witch? Well, we've got you. This is much more scary. Uh, aliens will destroy all human life, I think. Did that happen? Yes. Don't check that. Now, this one is scary. Um, York City will win 2-0. Absolutely bang on. There's nothing I can say that they won their next game 2-0. Absolutely terrifying stuff. Absolutely terrifying. Um, and I think the third one was there'll be a car crash involving a celebrity. Uh, I haven't checked this. Let's have a look through Wikipedia's recent deaths to see uh, deaths in 2022. Um, usually says why they die, but some of these aren't haven't got it. Oh, Lottie Harare, the fifty-one-year-old Panamanian triathlete, 
Died in a traffic collision, just like you predicted. Ooh, yes, just yesterday that happened. Um, you didn't get that Radim Azol, the Czech sexologist, would die of stomach cancer. No, I did know that would happen, though, Richard. That I thought he was too obscure a person. Uh, let's see if there's anyone else died in there. The uh, Rick Parnell, the drummer from Spinal Tap, died. Yes, that, I also thought of that. Fucking hell, Dario Sonder, 31 Italian racing cyclist, also died in a traffic collision. I saw it all, Richard. I said there would be two. I don't know if you did. Um, and, uh, yeah, a few a few people have died since last week. But those are the, the immediate traffic collision. That is absolutely terrifying. The Boris Johnson one right. The Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone one probably right. York City right. Aliens destroying all human life. Maybe in a... Oh, that was an alternate universe. The same as this one. Um, uh, and oh yeah look thanks to Nightbot book your tickets to see me at the Edinburgh Fringe uh, I'm doing Rahalastapa from the 3rd to the 14th of August at 1pm in the Assembly Ballroom tickets are now available do get those early because there's only about 350 tickets for each show I expect they will all sell out I'm aiming for big big names uh, big Edinburgh names so let's see how, let's see how we get on uh, oh, the writer of Welcome Back Cotter died no. Oh, you don't want to start looking at that, wouldn't you? What if I saw my own name in there? Ooh, what predictions have you got for the coming week? I really should write these down, Dithorhan, shouldn't I, Richard? Yeah, we can have a... You can try and make them up. I predict... Right, episode 61. I'm waiting to hear. Doris Johnson will tell a lie. Will, jo will Boris Johnson still be Prime Minister this time next week? Of course, Richard. He will be Prime Minister for the next 10 years. You think? Yep. I absolutely guarantee it. Okay, 10 years PM. We'll see if that turns out to be true. Yes. Um, Sierra Leone will come back out of the sea and just be like it was before. Are you just doing the same ones? Sorry, on a back to normal. Paddy McGuinness will die in a hang gliding accident. Paddy McGuinness. I mean, that's very specific. That was the one you got wrong, the third one last time. So I hope that... I hope Paddy will be fine. Um, if if he dies, I mean, you would have to start suspecting either me or one of the 137 viewers of this show. Um, uh, big fringe, big, big fringe names is who I'm talking about. Berach, that is your real name. York City will win three nil, three nil against. Tell that they're shit. Yeah, they've got a lot to play for, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Will they get promoted? They will not get promoted, Richard. I'm afraid York City will lose in the playoffs. Lose in playoffs? Okay. And any predictions? I predict that someone famous from Eastern Europe will die of, the, the, of bum cancer. Of what? Bum cancer. Of bum cancer. Eastern Europe celebrity. Dies of bum cancer. I mean, that, that's not a nice way of saying it. Well, let's see. Let's see if that... Those are some fantastic predictions there. Uh, I predict that something will go wrong in this episode of Twitch. Fun. Wow, that did happen. So that's an amazing... That's, yes, I prepared all these before. Thank you to Sybil. The gaffer tape's coming off a bit there. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens next week. If we come back, oh, it might be Wednesday next week. I think I'm going to be, yeah, I'm going to be out with, uh, going to be out with my wife uh, for the day um, on Thursday. So I might do this on Wednesday. We'll see. Well, I might not bother doing it. You know, it's just a load of nonsense, isn't it? Let's bring back Ali. I think it's a very successful show. <laughs> this is the one the clips are going to show on the news. Yeah, well, one day it'll be on the news. I'll show it on the news. Uh, we've done the birthdays. Oh, well, this is, um, I thought you might like to speculate about this one. Prince Charles takes up surprising new hobby. He got the hang of it really quickly, says pro. What do you think that is? Is the hobby doing a sex worker, Richard? Hey, you think it's been a sex So you, when he says pro, that's another, that's another trozzy. Uh, what is sex worker? You said sex worker. That's another trostitute saying that he's done three got it. This is his hobby. I mean, it would be a hobby for him where the money he would get from sex work would be small potatoes compared to the small potatoes that he uh, presumably sells through his Duchy of Cornwall organic range. Um, 
for what any other suggestions of what his new hobby could be is his new hobby uh it's like fox hunting but instead of the fox it's Prince Andrew he's hunting that could would be a good that would be it they could replace they could replace um Prince Andrew with uh, they could replace a fox with you know unpleasant people I was uh, my son was at the at the Whoa, I've suddenly got tired. Yeah, it's, you put a lot of effort in the secret shit. I'm like, yeah, you've done very well. You're allowed to feel tired. It's suddenly a wave of tiredness hit me. Well, it's nearly over. Um, we haven't seen so many of the characters. I know, doesn't that? Um, oh, blimey. And Sybil's face is really falling off down there. It's, it's, it's t horrifying. Just concentrate on the show. Um, I was at the woods with my kids, and my son kept on. Everyone who went past, he said he had a stick, and he said, have you, have you seen a fox? And everyone goes, oh, no, I haven't seen the fox yet, because I want to kill it and eat its meat. <laughs> uh, he was going to try and attack a fox with a stick and kill it and then eat it. Um, but I thought that would be quite good to replace the dogs in a, you know, in the hunt, in the fox hunt, with four-year-old kids with sticks. It's a sporting chance for the fox. I think it's, it's got to be a bit harder. Dogs are a bit too e good at catching foxes. It would be quite, quite an image, wouldn't it? A load of four-year-olds just holding sticks, going for a fox. I think the fox would win. I think you're right. There's a bloody fly in here. Oh, I think we've done everything. We've done the BFG, Chappelle, and Nuclear War Witch. Oh, the uh, countdown. I thought I might be in the. I might be in the frame for this. Anne Robinson's pissed off the other ladies on uh, countdown, and um, got the heave ho. That's my reading of the story. Uh, but. Um, Someone on Twitter said, you know, that they don't like the fact that uh, all these new presenters are coming in for a few months and then fucking off and they should stay there for decades like Richard Whiteley did. Um, I say it should be once you've accepted the job of countdown presenter, yeah, then I think you have to stay in until you die. And if you want to leave, you've got to, yeah, you have to take the, the, they show you in an office, there's a loaded gun. That's your only way out. That's the contract you sign. I don't think it's right. I think you, if you've decided it's an honour to follow in Richard Whiteley's footsteps, I would love to take that honour one of these days. Maybe when I've got a bit less work on or the kids are left home or something. Um, I wouldn't mind. I think I'd be good at it. I think I could do the whole Richard Whiteley bumbling idiot thing. Would you do all the swearing and stuff that you've got in, in the Theater Thal jokes? No, I probably wouldn't do those. I don't have to do that stuff. Would you drink me along? I mean, I think you could take Rachel Riley's place, couldn't you? Could could you do the the math, the sums and stuff? You you weren't much help on that uh, on that uh, word, although were you? Well, no, it wasn't all that much help, Richard. Um, but yeah, I think it's a disgrace. I agree with it, and I think I think they should round up. They should at least round up and imprison all the people who took the countdown job. There was the bloke from. Um, the Apprentice, Nick from The Apprentice did it, didn't he, for a bit? And uh, Des O'Connor did it, get him, round him up and put him in prison. Uh, and who else did it? I don't remember. Do you remember anyone else doing it? Uh, well, who did Anne Robinson take over from Nasty Nick from The Apprentice? Richard Whiteley did it. Yeah, there's, 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 a, there's been a few in there, Richard. Did, uh, uh, who would you like to see soon? <laughs> Doing countdown. I don't think this is the big closer you're already hoping for, Richard. I think it's a pretty good. I don't think it is. I don't think it's. I don't think there's. We should have done more the Prince Charles and take it. What is Prince Charles's new hobby, by the way? Um, I think he's playing American football. I might be wrong. Well, I would never have fucking predicted that for a second. Um, well, whoever it is, uh, Richard Osmond's. My money's on Richard Osmond. <laughs> He's given up uh, doing a quiz show because he has got enough time. Uh, Jeff Stelling did it. Yeah, old Jeff Stelling, didn't it? Yeah, well done. That's right. Annika Rice did it. No, they didn't. Annika Rice will be good. Uh, hopefully Annika Rice will be on the uh, upcoming Rahul, I suppose. I'm getting annoyed by this fly. I'm going to go. You guys can't even see it at home, can you? You think I've just gone crazy. I think they thought you went crazy a long time ago. Des Lyman probably did it, did he? I don't know. That's what someone said. Prince Charles did it. Oh, that's the same. One, this is one. Very good. Very good. Right, I think we'll uh, knock it on the head. Really, no, no songs. I don't think no song has presented itself today, has it? Usually, uh, uh, a pr uh, oh, it's witchcraft, wicked witchcraft. Because well, we had a witch on, is that what you're doing? And oh, I know it's strictly taboo. 
Whenever I see you coming down the stairs, I think, God, you look like a fucking scary witch. And, oh, you fucking ditch, leave me alone. Sit on it, daughter. Let's stop it. Because it's witchcraft, wicked witchcraft. And when you get on your drum, you play some Quidditch against me. Is that the words? Oh, I like it when you have a cat and some, a big cauldron full of rats. And uh, uh, you've got cobwebs coming out of your twat. Oh, come on. And uh, uh, you're not, your heart's not in, is it? My heart's not in this one, Richard. I can't lie to you. Shall we just go? We haven't had uh, Billy Bollockin. We've hardly had um, Cocky Carrot. Did somebody say Dilly Dollock? Oh, yeah. I wanted to talk to you, actually, Cocky Carrot. Woohoo! I mean, you know, I, again, I, Twitch have banned all your avatars and all your emotes of you. Does that. Does, I know we talked about it a bit last week, but are you, are you happy with that, Richard? Ever since I was born into this body, Tito has judged me, Tito has laughed at me, woohoo! And Tito has expected me to make doodle on tundras, which I don't mind, because I'm very good at it. You're not very good. Did someone say good at it, like good at sex? Yeah, you said that. Then, you know, to Tito Ian Twitch to say that I look like a penis, I'm just a carrot. This is how I was born. This is who I am. And yet, Tito, do not understand me. They mock me. They make jokes about me. And it's disgusting that Ian Twitch has joined in with that and Dan my picture. But, you know, I'm used to it, Richard. It's the saddest thing in the world. Maybe tomorrow I'll learn to settle down. Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. There's a peace that drops in my heart. You're not even a real carrot. I am. And you've deliberately been made to look like a penis. I haven't. Okay. Well, thanks very much for watching, everyone. Uh, I'll be back next week unless I got the countdown job. I think it would give me an alley. We could do it together. Um, it's always a, a, a massive pleasure to spend some time with you. Go and watch uh, Taskmaster. Champion of Champions Taskmaster must be like, I don't know, six weeks away now or seven weeks away. It's very exciting. Um, and uh, Twitch of Fun will be back next week at some point. Snooker's on Tuesdays. Uh, Rahulista comes out on Wednesday. Tomorrow uh, there is a Rahulista uh, book club. There's a new Stone Clean podcast this week and you can listen to one that was done inside my pocket at the same time. Uh, there's one that wasn't done inside my pocket. And, uh, you know, I just keep on churning this shit out. One day my genius will be recognised. Of that I am sure. But until that day, I'll have to carry on doing this. And I love it. We'll try and get some new closing credits eventually, but we keep forgetting to do it. See you next time, bug. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Everyone saying goodbye. Bye, bye. Thanks, Terry. Sorry, yeah. No, you did a great job. No, it's all right. You know, don't worry about the, the whole fun fucking thing going down. Prick. <laughs>
the king of the universe. Bye.